All right, and <laughs> what's good? What's poppin'? What's cracking everybody? I'm Nina. I, oh, I'm so sorry. No, I was going to do an intro first of all. Oh, okay, okay. okay. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm Mo, and this is Just Cause, and we have our very first guest today. Now, you might have seen her sunbathing in Mexico. You might have seen her. <laughs> Uh, going to Bulldog in Amsterdam. You may have even seen yeah. her hiking right. a dangerous volcano right. in Guatemala, but right here tonight, <laughs> you see her in our humble abode. The great, the wonderful Ariel! <laughs> first of all, I said it once, I'll say it before. You gotta get flew out with Ariel, because first of all, she lives in Atlanta, but does she? Because right. she's been here ever. She's her, here part time. Her job is here. She clocks a little bit like her face, but. This is but we live back here sleep through you. We do. We really do. I'm so glad to be here. Yeah, yeah. I've been watching you guys and I just figured that I would come and share my thoughts and you know, be a part of the girl game for the night. Yay! I'm so grateful for you. I'm so grateful. So Ariel is, I would say she's a travel enthusiast. <laughs> um, she likes to plan events and right now she's pushing her page is a trip. It's a trip underscore with Ariel, mm -hmm. with your hostess, with the mostess. So, you know, if you're looking for anything fun to do in Atlanta or you're trying to catch one of these flights with me, that's going to be fun. She's your girl. So what <laughs> was your latest trip and what did you do? So I got back from Guatemala mm -hmm. on Thursday. Give us a timeline. Now, rich people travel. It's Friday night. So you got back on Thursday. Yeah, I left last Saturday. Um, and where, how long were you here before you left? <laughs> um, Great question. Where did you go before that? I before was, that, I was um, in Europe. I went to Switzerland and Amsterdam for New Year's, mm -hmm. which was amazing. I didn't know And you came before. home for get some clothes, yeah. pretty much. Um, you nah, from... you know I had to come home, see some people. My little brother's birthday was here. My niece Shut was six months. Happy Ooh, birthday. You know, I'm an auntie. Happy I'm an auntie for real. I'll come and support my babies. I love my babies. Shout out to you for really living the rich auntie lifestyle. Right, like, she's, she's always trying. I really <laughs> You are her. Yeah, <laughs> inspiration for sure. So, what's the next trip or event? Uh, well, the next event in Atlanta, because I know y'all right. Well, this so is so much. <laughs> um, well, okay, so I'm doing a karaoke house party. It won't be the last one, so there'll be more in the future. Follow my page for more. I'm also doing a girls' night infused. Um, oh, I didn't know about that. Just <laughs> she got I'm only invited to one. I, I got to, you know, I got to push one. Oh, I'll get excited. Okay, so. like, <laughs> I'm limited to where so, I can go. So, ladies, it'll be like 20 ladies, onesies, pajama night, mm -hmm. have a real soulful. I think I'm going to have like a soul food spread. I have Ooh. society. Yeah. But everything's going to be infused. It's going to be really nice. Mm -hmm. That's going to be in February. That's nice. local. Yes, that's okay. here. My international trip. Carabana in August. Woo! Yes. For the people that don't go in nowhere Toronto. and they've never been nowhere. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Carabana is in Toronto. It's their current Wait, what is that? August um, oh, okay, yeah, 5th through <laughs> 7th or something. Or 4th through 7th, something like that. But definitely we'll have more details on that too. Oh, yeah. That's, That's amazing. It. I'm going to St. Martin for my birthday. Well, that's about it. Like, oh my God. Thank you for penciling us in. I really I appreciate know. it. I know. I'm so glad you guys had time for me. <laughs> <laughs> we here, girl. We're here. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> we so uh, what did you do this week? It's hard to follow that up. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Well, I'm going to be honest. 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 I'm going to be for the book club, so that's very. Um, what are y'all reading? We are reading Where the Crawdads Sing. That sounds ethnic. Um, kind of. It's based in like the marshes of like North North Carolina in like the fifties and sixties. So mm. it's definitely a period piece, at least for what I have so far. So like the right marshes. No, but they weren't even. Marches? No, the marshes like oh, swamps. Marshes. marshes. Okay, gotcha. Okay. okay. So, um, do y'all know the movie? Eats by you? Yes. Okay. Is it like that? Does it give you that vibe? Uh, for sure. Like yeah. it's crazy. So the main character, what her mom left, she just packed up her bags and left. Um, she was like That's six. So um, <laughs> they were in like a log cabin in the marshes. Like they caught them there. A marsh people. The dad is like, an alcoholic. He used to meet her. Like oh, okay. things like that. So she just got. How many kids like, was it? When she, when she left, it was only two left at the house. 
And okay. then a couple months later, her brother, who was there, was like, yes, yeah, so I'm about to do it too. Mm. Oh. So she was basically like left alone to fend for herself from like six until whatever. Six? Because, yeah, because her her dad would just dip for days because he was like drinking and oh, freaking wow. playing, and playing poker. And fuck them kids. Yeah. The and so he basically told her like, hey, I am responsible for you kind of, so I'm going to leave you money and you have to figure it out. So she was cooking grits and like saltfish forever like she really had to figure out life on her own she didn't have oh, wow. do you think she could be with the man that came from a two-parent household mm. Mm. i think she might find oh no because he won't be able to do anything she did everything she literally she was her security she was her nurturer she mm-hmm. fed herself mm-hmm. could she take a man who's been taking care of his whole life mm. I don't know, but some people find gratif- gratification in like serve- exactly. serving and yeah. Yeah. taking care. So maybe yeah. it just depends on what kind of energy she has. She's only fourteen now, so I don't know. But we'll do you see. think she know. would let him lead, or would they battle with who's the leader? You would have to. She would be like, you don't have to prove it to me. You have yeah. to show me mm-hmm. for sure before. But she don't trust nobody. No. Her mama left, her daddy left, her big yeah. brother left. Everybody yeah. left her, and she stayed alive through all of this. Yeah. So. Who's her protection? But she has a friend now. I'm thinking a love interest. Mm-hmm. He like pursued her by like so she was into collecting feathers. And so like for oh, a week of That's Aww. sweet. Okay. <laughs> so I have feathers, I have a dream catcher. Oh, you're me. But um so <laughs> So yeah, so boom, so he pursued her by like for a week he would leave like a different feather outside for her. And it was like anxiety birds, da da da. And so finally he felt like she was comfortable enough for them to actually talk in person. And now I mean, somebody loving you that much. Dude, he's oh, he's like teaching her to read and everything. What if your husband is international? Oh like she believes I believe I, it. I, I believe okay. it. Okay, I believe it. She needs a London bloke, I think. A uh, London? <laughs> a London bloke. I do love some chocolate and Africa. You been to Africa? Uh, no. Can we go? Yeah. I'm gonna go to Egypt. Okay. <laughs> first and then I don't care what happens after that but Egypt first so that is so upsetting so you went to all of these European countries and you didn't go back that's I upsetting I know it's, it's on my to go list yeah like, like all your travel shit like it don't mean nothing to me okay. wait a minute <laughs> you didn't go home wait a minute I you did I went to the Caribbean a lot how many, how many countries have you been to um right now I'm at 21 and not one motherland country not yet so, so that, see, my problem is that too. if I go there, I'm not gonna come back. That's and I have Ooh, responsibility. They're so beautiful. And they're gonna want me, and I know my husband's just gonna snatch me up. So what are you waiting for? He has money. You don't have to come back. So we gonna have to do there? Or no, definitely. Lagos, Ghana. Um, I would do want to go to Ghana. I would love to go to Senegal. I do not care. Yes, Senegal. And mm-hmm. they're French. And that's so exactly I'm manifesting an Africa trip this year. That's. Aggressive. <laughs> um, at the rate, are you? Oh, so for to go to these countries, do you have to be vaccinated? Um, no. Uh, but you are vaccinated. Yeah. Wait, okay. you don't have to be vaccinated to go to Africa. Don't you have to get shots before you go? Oh, oh I'm sorry, sorry, I was like, oh yes, sorry. Oh, okay. I'm not getting. I don't. I'm not gonna say which one. I'm not sure. Cause, you know, yeah. Which one, but I def- it's definitely just certain ones. Okay. So you don't have to be vaccinated to go where you've been. No. Oh. That's nice. Yeah. So they don't. Do you have to do a COVID test? No, not anymore. Oh, That's so we back normal. Yeah, I love that vlogger. I remember the times because I definitely went to Cancun and had to be taking my COVID test at the airport with everybody else. Oh, okay. imagine having yeah. COVID. I was, I had a um I had somebody that I was working with. She said that she went to South Africa during mm-hmm. during the pandemic. And they ended up like shutting it down, so she had to end up staying out there for two months. Oh no! Geez. But she said it was awesome. Like she was living off of like thirty dollars a day. Oh, like wow. it was like she was. That is, but still, I would be scared. Like okay, <laughs> but am I going home? I don't know. I think it's something so exciting about that. So Ariel, taking it back to you traveling, a lot of what you do is kind of like last minute like yeah. fi- figuring things out yeah. so i think that there's something exciting about not really having anything planned and just like whatever happens happens yeah, like, real like, free i see i know it's the free you told me there before started like, that's constant. awesome like, <laughs> stress. It's i missed the flight and i was sweating like profusely. <laughs> the next flight was at 45 minutes and i was still sweating oh, um, that, yeah i have to be together or i panic no i can't handle fair. pressure that's fair 
say my life is hard, but you know, hopefully. Um, Just because you can do it, don't mean it's easy. Shout yeah. out to you for yeah. being goaded. Um, like you want to be strong. I'm trying, guys. One what of our soldiers. We appreciate you for seeing the shit that we can't see. <laughs> Sharing it with us. I just want to inspire people to get block? out there and see the world. Why yeah, don't you block? Yeah. Yeah. I have so much footage on my phone, y'all. Oh, it's so ridiculous. You need a manager? I'm available. She's a live coach. She's a content manager. Um, I will send you an invoice. <laughs> okay. But I'm I'm not, I, I feel like from what I see, you can afford me. So not no worries. Oh <laughs> no yeah, worries. I, I will fit within your budget. No problem. <laughs> I just, yes, I just trying to focus and try to get myself out there because I do have amazing videos and I really do. And we and need, need to be that. sharing with the world. Yeah, yeah. 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 Like, How do we know where to go if you don't tell us? <laughs> right there. Exactly. You, gotta, you should do like people do the food reviews. You should do yeah. a country reviews. A state yeah, review. That would be true. cute. Ooh, and, if like, anybody can do it, thing. like yeah, because who can? Who else can be as consistent as you with going to the countries? <laughs> so yeah, you can definitely give us a country review. Uh, Okay. Yeah, I got y'all. Let's do it. Mm. Mo, do you have like an alias name, like a white woman alias name and or a name your mom was going to name you if she had not named you Monique? Um, you know my name. My name, or maybe you know my name. My name is Monique. Right. My, my house name is Monique. When I go out with um, people of, non-people of color, my name is Marnie. Marty. It's easy to pronounce Marty. and it's part of my name. So Why do you yeah. say it? You have to say it kind of nasally. Yeah, Marty. Marty. But they love that. What is it? Marty? Oh, I have an aunt named Marty. So yeah, what? it works. Oh, yeah, gosh. that's a name for not people of color. So my name's Marty. Um, but I just use Mo. I don't have like a Amber, Nicole, Nikki, you know. <laughs> so growing up when our alter egos would come out, Ariel and Janine did not do this. This was April and Samantha. <laughs> Who's April? I'm April. My mom was gonna name me April. Oh. And my mom was gonna name her Samantha. Yeah, that's what she would call me Sam. So when we so when we don't want to take accountability, they did it. It wasn't us. It April was and Samantha. Samantha. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's a cute group chat. <laughs> it, it sounds like a it sounds like a series of like teen teen, a teen novels. Speaking of series. <laughs> Jenny and Georgia. Oh, oh, wow. Wow. You finished the season? I did. Okay. okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> if we're picking team, <laughs> are you team Jenny or team Georgia? Wait, wait, before we do that, okay. for those who haven't watched Jenny and Georgia, how would y'all summarize the show? Like, what is the show about? You go, Erin. Um, it's about a Caucasian mother <laughs> <laughs> that had a biracial baby. Um, a daughter and she clearly at a young age and so she tried to you know protect her from the harshness of how she struggled being abused and you know having to hustle or you know finesse her way through life mm -hmm. and um, you know the girl the, now the daughter has grown to a teenager she's starting to find out little things about her mom's past yeah. and she's like putting things together and like oh my mom's a bad person but then like towards the end right now she's like oh she did it because she loved me like no fucking shit right but oh can I cuss? yeah oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> i love that <laughs> um but yeah now she's starting to realize you know mother's love is always you know unconditional like she doesn't care what you think she's gonna protect you at the end of the day but that's a beautiful um, synopsis i definitely am oh okay then. no <laughs> okay, okay. So, wait, wait, no, no, no. Yeah. Before you say who's team now, we're gonna yeah. take this shot. Okay. So we can answer. When did these shots get here? She did magic. Right? <laughs> what are we shouting to? Do you believe in magic? To <laughs> more travel. Yes. 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 I can't wait so, to see y'all on the beach with me. I'm in the gym, so I can take pictures with you on the beach. Because Arrow's basically been. No gym. No body like, by God. Oh my God. And she been and she been and she been kind of acting naughty on the social media as of late, like posting. <laughs> These bathing suits is killing it. Oh hey, my gosh. Juana, why you got it? <laughs> yeah, All know. the angles. I love it. I'm sorry. Okay, so, so your team. Um Georgia, all the way. Yeah. I had to think about which one was good. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm team Georgia all the way. I mean, you are team Georgia. The contrarian. I'm team Paul. Uh, you look fast. Uh, I'm yeah. team Paul. I like that she said. I'm team 
dating Joe too. He he was wild in season two and who he ended up. I also like Joe because he's cute. Yeah. He's so cute and he's so <laughs> sweet, but he's also gullible and we don't like that for real. Like, so are you going to break down who Georgia is? Okay, so Georgia is this beautiful woman who everyone is attracted to. With this southern accent that's just something. Georgia has bounced from place to place to place in search of a better life. She ran away from home when she was young. What did you do? She had her baby when she was 15. 15. And her home environment wasn't the best. And this is why she was in a predicament to have a baby at 15. And she knew she didn't want to raise her baby in that. Mm -hmm. So she left. And of course, at 15, you don't have nothing. So she did the best that she could to take care of her child and then children mm-hmm. and now she's finally going towards her happy ever after but of course your past always catch up with you there mm-hmm. so that is what she's in the midst of and so she has all these different men that are interested in her at the same time um she is a serial killer yes <laughs> she killed um okay so she killed her first husband how and why so technically her first husband was the guy that owned the motel and what she was trying to do was she was trying to just knock him out sleep because he was very like he wasn't abusive physically but he wouldn't let her uh, leave he, okay. he wasn't trying to give her any space that was the heavier so that was the heavier guy yeah, that um, owned the motel yeah. so mm-hmm. she crushed up some pills to basically oh she ended up marrying but him? she 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 did marry him because mm-hmm. um the child services was basically trying to take okay her okay her okay so Jenny. georgia had to get a place to live she had a place to live she couldn't really afford it because she was a young mother and so the landlord went ahead and married her so that the state wouldn't take her kid away from Correct. her because she was a minor yeah. okay so she married him and he was super controlled and manipulated he mm-hmm. tried to he was harming her he wasn't harming her. I don't think so, but he was like definitely giving creepy controlling. controlling. Yeah. yeah, so she tried to knock him out and accidentally killed him. Accidentally yeah. overdosed, yeah. yeah. Okay, when well, she was she was still a kid then. Yeah. yeah minor. Okay. Yeah. So then she moves on and she gets with her second her first second baby daddy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Austin's dad. Austin's yeah. dad, yep. Ooh, what a creep. Austin's so dad good. was a young rich boy, mm-hmm. but he was in a Yeah. <laughs> he was a scammer. Yeah. He was a scammer, yeah. and so she scammed the scammer. Yeah. Shout out to her for that. <laughs> Shout, Shout out to Jordan. Jordan. <laughs> That's yeah, a she, scammer. she literally learns from every situation she's in so that yeah, she can smart just lady. finesse her way up the yeah. chain of things. So she she scammed him to the point where he went to jail for embezzlement, fraud, all that with his company because she got all the money and broke the checks in his name. Yeah. He's in prison. She moves on to her next husband. Her next husband. Which is a rich older man that was trying to molest her daughter. Yes. Didn't do it yet. But she saw the signs. And so she poisoned him. Yep. Yep. Killed him. Mm -hmm. Inherited the money. Yep. Okay. (laughs) <laughs> and his his ex wife is salty. No, no, no. She didn't get the money just yet because the ex wife is basically con- contesting it. And that's yes. not why she hired the private Indian. Oh, uh, and that's yes. why we're at where we are. That's why we're at where we are. So the ex wife of the rich guy hired a private investigator mm-hmm. to find out if Georgia killed this man. Meanwhile, Georgia is working on her happy ever after. Yep. She's engaged to a mayor. <laughs> Same time she's engaged to a mayor, mm-hmm. her first baby daddy trying to come back. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The guy that owned the coffee shop is trying to get in. <laughs> and then she got the mayor too. Did she have anybody else? Just Austin's dad coming in trying to force his hand and basically blackmail her. That right. Crazy. And then her son <laughs> shot his daddy because his daddy was trying to hurt the mama. Mm-hmm. This is very ghetto. And like, and I like that you said Team Paul because even after she laid out all all yeah. of her sins, he was like, "Hey, I I need you to meet me at the office." She sees cops like he's about to turn me in. Yeah. And he pulled a promise. He's like, "I am the mayor." Yeah. Like, and I this is my son. My son. My son. Yeah, like my my son. son. If I meet your wife, then I will make it very hard for you. I was like, Ooh. <laughs> yeah, that's very big dick energy. Shout yeah. out to Paul yeah. for having big yes. dick energy. So yeah. Paul is the mayor. He's holding them all together. So why are y'all team Georgia? Why are y'all not team Jenny? I think Jenny is ungrateful. Yeah, I Jenny is Georgia's daughter. Her was daughter. Yeah. yeah. Now, I understand that she does struggle with being a biracial kid in a predominantly white county for or sure. city or whatever, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. but. The way she was expressing herself was just, it wasn't, 
Good. Like I don't know how she to know how to express herself. I guess that's why she they put her there. Well, yeah. So as a biracial child, well, I feel like biracial children are all like a little mental because they have this battle of who's going to be the dominant one. But see, I think that's them. more in black and white kids versus that's a she's Spanish. white. No, I'm not. It's Spanish <laughs> white. It's, no. it's a white Spanish. But if it's not a country in Europe, my mother is in a slip. South America, I'm not white. It's the lighter skin Spanish. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll take that. But I do feel like there really it, it's a struggle if both sides of the family were there and present and even then it's not really a struggle because you have equal amounts mm-hmm. i think for me it was never a struggle per se because i was raised right so you have both so. so you're not like torn i'm not torn necessarily because i because i identify it as a black woman mm-hmm. but there is a sense of like damn i wish i did have a better connection to my mom's side mm-hmm. So there's that. So it's not really an identity struggle. It's more of like, damn, I wish I could have right. a little bit. And that is regardless of race. Yeah. We all like, don't yeah. fuck with both sides of strong. Right. So with Jenny, is she expressing herself that way because she's been like, she's been with a white woman. Yeah. Mm-hmm. She's grown up as a white kid. Yeah. And now that she's growing, she's learning that she is also black. Yeah. yeah. So maybe she's having an identity crisis and she yeah. don't know, like, do I continue to behave like I've been behaving or do I embrace the other part of me? And I like to also point out, like, this is her first time where she says, like, they've been in a place long enough to where she can actually establish right. friendships mm-hmm. and yeah. actually start That's to figure true. out who she is. So I can understand the struggle. Like, yeah. I get it. But still, like, as a mom, like, knowing the whole story and just having a different, like, having an adult perspective, I'm like, you're ungrateful. <laughs> and then I feel like it's especially, like, like you saw your mom grind to, to this point. Like, yeah. you do remember when y'all didn't have any money mm-hmm. and, like, shit was rough. But now mm-hmm. y'all living super comfortable. Right. And my only gauge is a man. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's up from here. Like, it's, that part. it's up. And then it's, like, even before all this happened, mm-hmm. season, season one, she, she was almost, like, it sounds like jealous of her mom because she um, she she always commented on the fact of like the fact that her mom was so beautiful mm-hmm. almost annoyed her. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And the fact that she was able to use that to to get things annoyed her. Mm-hmm. But I don't know because I didn't grow up with that mom that like everybody was dying over. Yeah. Like, so that might be hard for a kid if so, like people always playing with you like damn your mom bad like yeah. oh, fuck your mom. <laughs> <laughs> And then you see that, like, your mom is getting these things off of what she looks like. Yeah. So how is that going to make you feel? Like, when you think about it and you look at other people's mom, like, actually, my mom ain't shit. But <laughs> my mom cute and it's everybody like, fucking yeah. with her because she cute. Yeah. But that don't do nothing for us in, like, longevity. We yeah. still got to be recent. That's so recent. how decent is it? Like, how yeah. decent are you? How good do you look? Because you're so fine, but we move every week. Mm-hmm. But... I also feel like Georgia was always in this like, uh, was it fight, fight or flight type right. thing? Right, absolutely. And so it's like, e- like anytime shit got kind of shaky, she could have waited it out, but she didn't want to take that chance. So she's like, all right, let's just keep it moving. Keep it moving. Like, let's just keep it moving. <laughs> so, I'm about to wait this out because what if it turned out bad? Right. <laughs> but that's the thing. So it's like we have both sides of the story, but I yeah. guess if I only knew Jenny's side, yeah. I'm still not Team Jenny. I'm sorry. So what would okay? So what was your point where you was like, I'm definitely not Team Jenny. Oh, um, I guess when she ran away with the the she brother. stole her neighbor's motorcycle. Right, yeah, and then ran off. That's why y'all was like, no Jenny. No, I didn't say no Jenny. Why was why did then. you she took her brother with her and went to her daddy house? Why would you like? Why no? would you not tell your mother? I think it was just because she was fed up and she had been away from her dad. Like she wanted her daddy. That was Aww. sweet to me. And the fact that she wanted her daddy and then she took like a parental standpoint, like I'm not leaving my brother. Yeah, that's this right. is not even your daddy, but yeah. I'm taking you with me because our mama ain't shit. So I'm gonna make sure you're. I think Zion is like a really good baby. Like, aside from the fact that he really wasn't there, but you yeah, can still tell. Wasn't there, yeah. That's very true. And you can still tell, even with the distance, like, he still kept a strong enough bond slash relationship with Jenny because, like, they had things that they only did, such yeah. mm-hmm. such as her reading these books or um, playing piano or just mm-hmm. doing these things. Like, that was definitely her dad doing that. Yeah. So that was cool. 
So with Jenny um, not really having connection with her black family, but she could have and she wanted that. How do you feel? Do you, did you want to have the coals on yet? Now I do. Yeah. Thank you for saying something. No problem. <laughs> no one else has had hookah. Oh, so, yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. With, with <laughs> Jenny, she's so funny. Okay, so there was a scene where um, Zion, Zion is the black baby daddy. He came to Georgia's house with the mayor and had Christmas dinner and he brought his parents and his whole yeah. family with them. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like it was their place to then like speak their grievances about how, oh, we wanted to be there for Jenny, you took her away, like was that the place and time? And should they even say anything at all? Is it their business? They should have said it right then in front of the other um, parents. Yeah, to the outside. Yeah, like they, they would have been outside yeah. just talking and yeah. Or before they even show it's up. It's not them, but space and opportunity. That's how I feel. Especially since, like, when is the next time they're all going to be able to be Yeah, inside? and if you yeah. got this on your chest, right. like, I'm okay like, with you getting it off. Yeah, and I'm, I'm, not, I'm, not, saying, okay. I'm not okay. I'll, I'll do that to I'll me. I'll say, God, they're the same. Like, don't if you was in the kitchen, and I was like, no, like, you know, you know, I was in the kitchen, I was like, hey, I want to talk to you later. Yeah. I'm kind of. Don't like, ever come at me in a, in a group. Yeah. I know how I am. I don't mind making it awkward. So <laughs> I'm going to say what I got to say because I can't finish my food because right. I feel away. This shit is on my stomach. Right. So I would definitely do the same thing getting it off. Right. Mm -hmm. But I don't want that done to me. Side conversation. How much <laughs> how much input or how important is it or what kind of rights do you feel like a grandparent has? So, okay. <laughs> I'm torn with grandparents because mm -hmm. a grandparent is not going to tell me anything about my kid. Yeah. You, I'm the parent. Just shut up. <laughs> But I, f I definitely appreciate a grandparent that is that involved. Yeah. Because I never had a relationship with any of my grandparents. I grew up with all of my grandparents alive, even some great grandparents. Yeah. And I didn't have a relationship with one single person. Oh, wow. So I appreciate that my child has a relationship with her grandmother. Yeah. So I appreciate a grandparent's relationship and I appreciate that bond. And like, I have a lot of cousins and some of them are close with my grandparent. Yeah. But I just don't share that. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, damn, that would have been nice yeah. so i appreciate seeing it but i don't want you speaking your opinion to the parent mm. shut up like so, so you're you there for when i'm not there mm. right but okay so i feel like in some situations like some sometimes you do have to speak up if it's for the betterment of of, of the child mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. jenny was clearly during the season going through some kind of crisis where she's yeah. like damn i really could use black friends like i could really mm -hmm use like their backup so she was going through something in class with her um teacher where it was clearly him um appointing her or uh, picking on her or no singling her out yeah. it's just like it's a, a lot, lot of white people do that it. white people decide to pick one black person whoever they know and then token black person has yeah. to be the voice for black people yeah i don't know every black experience exactly and that's what i can't for speak her. for that and she doesn't yeah. know anything about the black experience correct so i'm still figuring out yeah <laughs> yeah that's true but, so as her trying to figure out the black experience, she has this teacher that's telling her to be the vo black voice. It's really not her circumstance. She has a, somebody telling her to be the black voice. Yeah. She's growing up in this white family where she's the only black person in the Literally, house. Yeah. Yeah. She doesn't have a connection to her black family or to black people, period. Uh -huh. Jenny's not the problem. Yeah, right. She's a product of her environment. Yeah. Okay. That's, okay. what, that's definitely a way of looking at it. Right. So to bring it back to, to your point, as, as as a grandparent, you're like, yo, maybe we could have alleviated a lot of the stuff she's going through and further prevented if we had the opportunity to be more present inside of her life. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So it's like some sometimes you, you kind of do, do need an outsider to like show you like the fucking obvious. But in Georgia's defense, bitch, that's done. Her life has already happened. Yeah. We're here now. Yeah. I invited y'all to my house yeah. Yeah. with the mayor. Y'all should chill out. Like, I brought, brought y'all around some money. Y'all yeah. should really calm down. Like, but Zion's parents have money. Yeah. Remember, that was the whole thing. Like, they were basically offering to take, take care. care of them, but yeah. she didn't want them to have. But I respect her for that, too. But as a mother, I, I did. You. Yeah, I don't, I don't owe you anything at the end of the day. Like, I am her parent, y'all. That's cute. Do y'all feel like that there's girl signs and boy signs? 
they're better. That's what they ones. say, yeah. I don't feel like a boy should be an Aquarius or a Pisces. Why? Wow. Right? That's a girl sign. Really? <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's an Aquarius. Yeah. Why well, are Pisces? Pisces. They're girl signs. Um, are there any signs that you think are completely masculine? Like Leos? I know girl Leos though. A the lot. Really masculine? I don't know that many girl Leos actually. I know a lot. Um, really masculine signs, I think. I think Capricorn and Aries are I masculine. Say, I would say Capricorn, but then I won't. But like they don't show emotion ever. That's pretty masculine. Like you just I just don't know a lot of female Capricorns. I know Me a lot neither. Of I know like one. Yeah. Two. I don't know a lot of female Aries except the Queen. What was I say? That was cute. <laughs> but yeah, most men I know are Aries, Scorpios. That's a masculine sign. Yeah. Um, Aries, Scorpio, Leo, Capricorn. How about I never really ask men their signs? I think that's more something I ask girls. But oh, I get it. Hmm. You don't really talk to men. Just a, that's that good. too. Okay, well, let's take shots of that. <laughs> Aquarius season and January 18th till February 20th. All right. No, I'm lying. It's January 20th to so February 18th. Mm, remember when? Remember when they tried to like change up the um, zodiac date? Mm-hmm. Yeah, but I never paid attention. I was like, stop that. I was like, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna remember none of that. No, I'm, I'm an. Y'all finished that there. bottle. We together as a team, we all took equal amounts of shots. Yes, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, this yeah. is four, five, five, two. We yeah. Somebody's lying. I think it's four. It yeah. might be four. Is it? Who cares? I thought we took three out here because we took one before it started. We took one on camera and then we just did another one. Yeah. You're right. I'll go on for a minute. It's the it's the um it's it is the math major. Why is counting numbers? No, three, four, five, bitch. Hey, <laughs> so uh Georgia mm-hmm. she has I don't know if she has, but on topic with Georgia and we can bring it back to Georgia. I wanna know if it's okay. If every time, even though you are adding baby daddies. Is it okay if you're upgrading baby daddies every time? Like, what do you mean it's okay, like, to society? If you, to no. <laughs> if you, like, is it okay to? So, to society, I feel like if you're looking at a woman and you'd be like, oh, she has three baby daddies. But now but her each, last husband is, like, a good Yeah, husband. but each baby daddy was an upgrade, or now she finally made it. Do we judge her the same? As a lady with three ain't shit baby daddy. Absolutely not. They don't. We don't okay. that I mean, mm-hmm. look at uh, what Steve Harvey's wife, right? Lord. Yeah. No, that's what. Yeah, that's the daughter. I don't know. Marjorie. 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 Yeah, yeah. Marjorie. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, no, I never about that. Marjorie. I didn't even know about her past. And then, <laughs> right. and then yeah. start, I was like, she's trying. Oh, she, she moved up. Okay, well, see, I, I get it. Like, <laughs> oh, I get it. You know, if you so, do what you gotta do. It's okay to have multiple baby daddies if you're upgrading. Um, I mean, if they can afford it, I guess so. Yeah, <laughs> I do feel like there's a cut off of multiple baby daddies, just period in life. Like, yeah. I feel like at some point, she's like, all right. What's yeah. the number where you looking at her crazy? Four. Four? Do you got more than four? Mm. Four and up. So, is four it more that wild. the female has you more, more baby kids? daddies, or is it worse that the dad has more kids by different moms? They're both bad. They're both bad. Because did y'all see about the guy that has 30 kids by yeah. 11 different women? I mean, he was I begging the court to like, like the mom. Some of the moms was only getting a dollar fifty from child support. Oh, what? And they was mad. He was like, he went to court. He needs to go to jail. I was like, this is why they no. need to be <laughs> No, no, why it's not, not his fault. Oh, it's not his fault. No, free. it's a fucking free. That's free. Why are you having a baby? Fucking free. No, it's the Asian. 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 Yeah, I get and it. And the it was like, how you gonna go? Like, it's okay to be like maybe four or five. Six, you know, seven child. When you get to in the twelve, and then you in the twenties, baby, what is you doing? Is oh, he lying? Right. What is he right. telling you? Like, what, what, what is he telling you? Twenty-eight other kids. Oh no, there is no way you don't know. Right, you got twenty. This man is not. He don't have no money. He right, you know, like, no. so it's not like he's moving from here to here. You know he got you. You got your cousins with him. Also, what is the caliber of baby mom too? Because it's like, so is it whose fault is it? Who is the problem? 
When the man has multiple baby moms, is it the man that's the problem or is it the women that's choosing to t continue to procreate for him? They're both the problem. Right. Everybody's not. I the think man's equally, not the problem. The man is the problem because how dare you feel comfortable with creating life and not be present for them in any way? Who you told you he wasn't them? present? <laughs> how, do you, how are you present for 30 kids, Mo? I'm trying. <laughs> no, it's not trying. Like, like, okay, so, so okay. Like you're an ancient person. So as a woman, men a mature woman. faster than men. That's not an issue. Women issue. mature faster than men. Mm -hmm. okay. A woman can look at this man and be like, you got 5, 15, 20, 25 kids. Huh. I probably don't need to give you another kid. If I do give you another kid, I know you don't already. You already don't take care of the kids because you over here with me. Yeah. You don't have no time to be with me. Which is why he's not. He don't give them time either. That proves my point. But yeah. Continue. Yeah. So you don't have no time to be with me because you have all these other people you need to take care of. Meanwhile, we are making a child right now when you should be at somebody's practice game birthday yeah, or something. Yeah. Correct. We're making a child. Then, as the mom, can I be upset when you don't do nothing for me? I knew you wasn't gonna. No, do No, she can't, which is why she's the problem too. They're they're both terrible oh. people. <laughs> wow. I blame the woman. I, I, the I, I blame both of them. Who do you blame? Tiger. <laughs> Who do you blame? I do blame both because there's no way. But you know, we both lay down. Both people lay down. Y'all make this decision. We doing this raw. The consequences are what it is. So if you lay down 30 plus, because it obviously just wasn't that 30 times I had them 30 fucking kids. Right. So it's like you lay down 30 plus times, bro, you're going to know like Imagine how many women have abortions. <laughs> you're going to produce some kids and you need to know you got to take responsibility for that. People need to stop fucking the street and that's why it's so bad in the low um, income areas. Because they're yeah, like, oh, we don't have nothing else to do. Have sex. We're gonna have sex, yeah. and that produces mm -hmm. no without protection, without the right health care. There's just it's gonna be this ridiculous cycle. Come on, system. <laughs> so, <laughs> since it's the parents that are choosing to be reckless, yeah. both of y'all are the problem. Yeah. Yes. Then when you produce a child yeah. that is not like associating with anyone, she's not connecting with anyone. Mm -hmm. She's a product of her environment. Yeah. Do you then get mad at the child for reacting however they react? No. Mm -hmm. so, so you're saying you're proving our point about Jenny. Mm -hmm. Her mom didn't have 30 kids, Mo. <laughs> she only had two baby daddies, Mo. She her mom. Dad, but, but her dad was present, Mo. Her mom was, was the same 15 thing. trying to be a mom. You can't be a mom. You can't even be an adult at 15. Okay. So you don't know what you're doing. You're doing whatever you want to do. Now I'm a product of you doing whatever you want to do. So when I turn around and do what I want to do and act how I want to act, at least I didn't bring a How baby dare else. you feel away? Because look what you did. You was out here killing people. By the time you was my age, you were a murderer. Yeah. So how dare you judge anything I do? So what if I act out? So what if I call you by your real name, Mary? Like so what if I do? So what if I run away with my brother that you didn't even care to check on? As a mother, come get your child. You got your baby over here with a band that's not even his. But she also trusts Zion. Zion's an amazing father. Let's also talk about the we fact that Georgia is a kid it. too. Georgia was 15 when she had, um, so how old is she? 30. Yeah. Okay, at 30, we, we don't have it all. I'm definitely not a serial killer. At 30, <laughs> at 30, you letting somebody take your baby and be gone for days, weeks at a time. And she, I don't want to talk. She knows they're safe. You're not going to talk? You don't. You not gonna. But that me, was, that's her. Me, that's no, her response. Yeah, but, but, that, but that's her response for for you. Yeah, you and want that's to be irresponsible. There's a that's the irresponsible response. So you think you handle every situation as as a parent perfect? No. Okay, she didn't handle this one perfect. She don't handle nothing perfect. But hey, but she gets them where they need to be and have. She a keeps them alive, life. but they are going through it. They're mental. <laughs> She's her not taking care. <laughs> They are not taking their mental health is not taking care of her. Daughter's popping rubber bands. <laughs> She's sucking dick. Yo, she asked her mom. Have you ever asked your parent like sex tips? Like that, no. that's wild. I would never. Would never. I, I tried not to think about sex. About sex tips. We have talked about sex before, but it's never like. Oh, I ain't never talked about sex. Nope. I don't, I, mean, I, was, I don't know if my parents even. Nope. <laughs> I think no. I have 
I was like, I don't no, know. I don't have sex. Yeah, I'm not talking about that. No. Did your parents? Like my dad? Absolutely. No, no, it's nothing too far. I was gonna say, like, did your parents know after you had sex the the first time? My my parents knew. Yeah, my mom took me to go get on birth control and have a full uh, Pap smear and all that. We got the whole. What do you think it is, or they just know now? Like that's so I don't know because I told her she was like I want to know when you're ready to have sex and it was okay. like maybe 60 days before and I was like I'm ready yeah. to have sex and she was like I'm ready to start she sex. was like no you're not and I was like all right <laughs> you say so all right, I, 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 I tried but oh, yeah, it was yeah. in the drive through at Dairy Queen and she was like I was like what would you do if I had sex and she was like I just want you to know when you're I want you to let me know when you're ready so I can make sure you yeah. are safe and covered and I was like okay well I'm ready and she was like no you're not you're not ready for right you're not ready, ready to know that I'm, ready. I'm about to go <laughs> oh, wow. I told you and then I had sex okay <laughs> did you you never had that talk with either one of your parents um, by me officially having sex? Yeah. No. No. They still haven't had a conversation with you. They know I did. But well, I'm I just, Yeah, I'm saying, mm, no. <laughs> I'm going to say, no. I'm going to put their face and be like, hey. Did you have a talk? I but but a talk. when I was in Amsterdam, I was like, my, I got to Oh, this is the best story ever. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, my, I'm going to go catch a train and I'm going to come back in the morning. <laughs> and why was your mom like, all right, cool? Um, because she had her man there. <laughs> In a foreign country, bro. How you the step step on the forehead? That's so funny. I only, I only knew I was gonna get on the flight the night before, so I told. Well, we had like England, so we kind of like, kind of like, okay, we can try, we keep trying. And so when we saw the flight was open, it was like, we getting on it. And so when we got on it, we told them like, we're coming. <laughs> and they were like, okay. So did they know each other? No. Okay. They probably same island, but no, they don't know each other. Is that wild? That's so cool. They were so they were like an hour turning around from, from each other. So I'm out at the hotel. I was like, okay, mom, I'm going to go over here. I'll be back in the morning. And I came back with a smile on my face. <laughs> Is that the only country you've had sex in other than here? No. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to answer for you. I did not mean to answer for you. <laughs> you have your own story, too. My bad. <laughs> That is a bucket list. I want to have sex in every country. Oh my god, we are ridiculous. <laughs> Where was the other? It was a lot of other countries. Um, not a lot. Just probably. That is beautiful. Oh man. Okay. Probably. Probably like five other countries. That's cute. Yeah. Two for me. Does the Bahamas count? Yeah. It's okay. In Canada. Yeah. That's a different country. Yeah, that yeah. was it. Yeah. Which yeah, one's so better? Maybe it'll be up to seven or something. The Bahamas is better. Mm. It was on a boat. It was on a boat. <laughs> Set scene lights down. Ah. <laughs> you really rocking the boat, huh? That's cute. <laughs> we rocked the boat. I want to take a awesome. shot. Because people who don't watch it in Jersey are like, what are y'all talking about? Y'all gonna go watch it in Jersey yeah, on Netflix, Netflix season two. No, no we gotta talk about the ending of season two. Okay, like, so how do you feel about it? The ending was, remind me, so basically Paul stood up as a man. Yeah. Was like, I, I Paul, had some flaws and all. Paul, Georgia married the mayor. Yes. She did marry the mayor. Oh, yes, yes, yes. And, and she then, got, she oh, got arrested at her, her reception. Because she, she got arrested, arrested for killing. For killing. <laughs> The neighbors <laughs> died. He was already done. Because she wanted to be in the neighborhood group. Yeah. No. No, she wanted her to not feel so bad. Yes. Nah. No, 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 no. Because she, because she was already inside of the neighborhood group. What she did do was shady. Was that she pinned a robbery on the the neighbor's the son kid, so yeah. that the neighbor could have, so the neighbor could owe her one. Yeah. Okay. Remember, she planted like a. It was like a book of poems that that the society had. Mm-hmm. She planted that inside of the son's book bag, and I was like, "Oh, I found this inside of his book bag." Now I won't say anything, but mm-hmm. you have to back me yeah. when I want to join the. Yeah. So I I saw Georgia 
you're trying to be a part of this community. Yeah. And the only way to get in the community is if somebody died. No, she she did it. I think this was Georgia doing what she thought God was, was right. right. Because God was be, right. because Who are you to play God? I, 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 I totally agree, but yeah. she was doing what she thought was right because right before she did that, Cynthia had a come to Jesus moment yeah. where she was like, Bro, like I just right, wake right. up every day for like I just thought that it was gonna be over by now. Yeah. But the fact that I just have to see him every day, he's slowly dying. Our son is Affected. I wish she would have yeah. just died already. My this is after she smashed Joe. I don't know if that's anything to do with it. Mm, but 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 she's pretty much like I'm just done with this every day. Yeah. So 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 George is like, all right, let me try to. She thought she was doing a friendly thing. She did what she thought was right, but plot mm-hmm. twist: uh-huh. her son Austin was hiding inside of a wardrobe inside of that same room and saw his mom smother this guy who was on hospice. Yes. If I'm your friend. Mm-hmm. And I tell you, like, my man is dying, but he won't die. Like, yeah. he's just slowly dying. He's not alive. He's a vegetable. Yeah. He's going to die. It's just taking forever. And I'm sad about it. I'm mm-hmm. boo boo crying. Are you going to? No, but I'm not Georgia. I haven't not had Georgia. Sure. So I, don't know that, yeah. I haven't that's already. That's not Georgia's it. business. But that's our, how she felt. She felt right. she was doing the right thing right. in her self. Georgia, honestly, so I think that's a good heart. Like, no. no. You do. <laughs> you do. I definitely think that we're humanizing the serial killer. I said that yeah. before because like yeah. we know her whole story, and because we know her story, justified, we'd yeah. be like, okay, yeah. she's justified because she was protecting herself. She's justified because this was a survival tactic. Yeah. She's justified because she saved her daughter from going through the same trauma she went through. But the only I do draw the line at time, like this. You was wild. That that was not your place to kill him. But yeah. I do understand she was doing what she thought was right in the moment. I'm gonna try to figure out how they found out. Yes, and then that was thing because Austin was like, I, I didn't say tell. anything. I was like, oh, oh. <laughs> and she was like, what? <laughs> she did it for real. <laughs> hey. So what is Jenny gonna go through now? Right. Yeah. You know for a fact your mom's killed two people. Yeah. yeah. Now your brother right. is confirming yeah. that she killed three people. Yeah. yeah. Do you just still defend your mom? Yeah, man, I'm gonna write it down. Cause is she gonna kill me? She's nuts. Mm-hmm. She's not gonna kill you. She I'm always gonna never kill you. Yeah, that's that is some psychological craziness yeah. for a child to go through, though. I ain't gonna lie. But imagine getting into it with a person that you know will kill you. Right. Like, mm-hmm. That's true. Yeah. They really bout that. Like, how can you then, like, like actually if you or me, and she yeah, like, yeah, you, yeah so. at the end of like, the day, like, <laughs> yeah, well, you. Should. Yeah. So now when I turn around and kill my mom because I'm trying to make sure I'm alive still, yeah. am I going to be in the wrong? Mm. That's so Plot twist. What is Season, season three. three. <laughs> First of all, this <laughs> is <laughs> Oh my God. What did she get that? That's wild. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I got some of the That is so funny. But yeah. All right, yeah. Okay. So, I had this conversation in my DMs. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and this man was going off about how women are, and he was like, why is it that a woman's first baby daddy can be ain't shit? And every man after that has to have his shit together and has to be gold and a prince and all this stuff and my response to that was damn like can she not learn her lesson yeah right. well she suffered twice and right. want better <laughs> and his response to that was oh i feel like that's a cop out no i think you're copping out because you ain't shit and you're not living up to somebody's ex- yeah, that sounds like expectations and that's why you feel it right now <laughs> sir because mm-hmm. as a woman, I feel like, of course, like you learned your lesson. Yeah. So now you're going to be like, okay, I'm never doing that again. Right. Yeah. My man has to have everything my baby daddy don't have. <laughs> but I'm not dealing with that no more. Like my baby daddy has nothing. So if I'm going to do I'm I'm doing it by myself yeah. right now. So if you get serious with a guy, like how obligated do you think he has to be to also supporting and or raising your previous child? Okay. Oof. So I can't speak from other experiences right? because my baby daddy is a dad. Yeah. Ooh. So I don't need a stepdad. 
Yeah. My child doesn't need that. So I don't want you involved. I don't ever want you to feel comfortable doing anything with my child. Yeah. Because my child has a mother and a father. Right. Mm-hmm. She does not need you. She has a grandmother. Like, she's good. So mm-hmm. I am not looking for a stepdaddy. Right. There are people that are looking for some help. That's yeah. True. I'm that's not looking true. for help. So yeah. I can't speak to a woman that's looking for help. Me neither. Oh. Yeah. I'm happy for y'all. Thanks. Really shout happy. out to us. So shout out to us for doing it right the first time. Yeah. Yes. Would you have, would you have another baby daddy? Nope. Mm-mm. I would pull up Chloe. Hey, I'm gonna really fuck with you right now, but I want my kids to have the same dad. Let's just do this thing. I don't like if I'm already I'm already a baby mama. I'm not gonna let another man baby mama me. Uh-huh. So But what if you're leveling up? And a part of the level it required you to carry his offspring. That would be beautiful, but at this age, um by the time this air I'm gonna be like a week out from thirty two. <laughs> at this age I'm not trying to have another baby. Yes. Yeah, I have an eight up about to be nine year old in a yeah. few days. So yeah. my baby's about to be nine. Even if I got pregnant right now at this moment, I would, my kids would be 10 years ten apart. Years. Mm-hmm. Wow, that's that's stupid. Difference. Yeah, that's very dumb to have a kid that's graduating and a kid in third grade. I'm, I'm out of here. I was, But I also was never the type that was like, I want to be a mom. Um, that was never my thing. See, I was. that's what some people fail to realize. Like, Every some people are made mom. to be a mom and they don't realize that until they get pregnant, unfortunately. Mm, that's, yeah. And then guys either, you know, they can't understand why they, that woman doesn't want to take care of it or she's not the motherly type that he thought she would, but that's not mm. the woman you met. You met a woman in a club or you met somebody you just fucking on the side and you got her pregnant. Come on, church. <laughs> and now you mad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She, she's not like your mother. Yeah. Well, let's get into <laughs> your mom what was you and yeah. the point that I had about this. So it was, I don't know who he is. I don't know if he's a rapper or since we old and watched and we don't know what's happening. But have I had this hookah a long time or not? You can pass it whenever you're ready, though. I know. No, uh, well, exactly. why you look for that? My mom, I was talking to her about, you know, being, having kids and how my mom had me when she was, like, 22, I was mm-hmm. 23. Okay. And she was like, I want to have kids. Like, I mm-hmm. met your dad. I was, like, I was in this foreign country, and I always wanted to be a mother because she didn't have that connection with my mom. My grandmother, because mm-hmm. she had her when she was young. Okay. So my mom didn't really stay with her. She kind of moved around, and so my mom wanted to de- develop a family of her own. So she was in that mindset. I wanted a girl. I mm-hmm. wanted a boy. Oh, I got that. Okay. Now I got money. I'm gonna do it myself. Independent yeah. woman, like da da da. So she did what she wanted. Me, I've never had the desire to want kids. I've never wanted like. You're not oh my god! And, and you know, it's like. I, it used to be like, oh, what's wrong with me? Like, why? You know, society yeah. tells me I just have kids. And I'm like, as I've gotten older, I'm like, it's not a necessity. No. It's just something that society pushes you for because I am a female and that's what my body mm-hmm. was made for. But mm-hmm. if it's my choice, like... Exactly. And it I need to be in that environment for me to do that. And I'm happy that you guys actually have good um, situations, even, you know, having kids. I mean, because... <laughs> Oh, it's some bad bitches. Even with a child, and I just be like, <laughs> I'm gonna pray y'all for that. I ain't even gonna lie, y'all, because I mean, my life is crazy, or you know, I be on the go and all that. But y'all be holding it down. Y'all be doing it. And y'all still look fabulous. I be like, I mean, and y'all still be drinking with me. And like, we still be having a good time. <laughs> A lot of women, I love it, but like I'm didn't go through that, so it's like yeah. I have a different perspective. But I'm not gonna like, oh wow, she has kids. I don't ever. Yeah, that's just not my path that I have. So and I can appreciate that, and I think that that's the importance of a, like at least like allowing yourself time to figure out who who you are as an adult woman, mm-hmm. because like you you may realize actually I don't need a kid to feel fulfilled. I don't yeah. really need to be married even. Like I'm cool with just. Finding happiness here yeah. inside of my friends, mm-hmm. inside of my career, inside yeah. of that area. Yeah. Yeah. But my point was, I can't find the exact clip or whatever. The the <laughs> the basis of it is, this this dude had his baby mom or girlfriend. I think he was she was just a girlfriend. 
Either way, he had her sign something basically saying that she had to give him 50% of any earnings that she made after they got together because she's getting money off of clout of his his name. This sounds very much like Blue and Kershaw. What was the... It was somebody. But they're on the same type of agreement. <laughs> really? Like her money goes to him type thing. I think that that's so trash. I feel like that that comes into the point of like... You have to know who you're having kids with. Because I feel like if you're having kids with just a random ass person, you're, you, right. you you aren't even spending enough time with them to know if they're going to be don't a, care good about parent, kid. a good yeah. co-parent, any of that. Yeah. And I would hope that the person that, that I have a baby with, even if we don't work out in a romantic way, I yeah. still fuck with you enough to where I want you to do well. So yeah. if, if that means that you're getting gigs off of my name, fine, because I got you and I would hope that you got me. Outside of the co-parenting, your genes, I have to now raise a child that's 50% yeah. you yeah. and your family. Yeah. I don't know anything about you or your family. I might hate them looking exactly. at them. Yeah. So now my child is 50% of that. Yeah. So now, like, am I wrong for growing up and looking at my child? Like, I don't like half of who you are. Yeah. You are wrong because you decided to have, have that That's baby. why you should... You, you should... People are just having babies off the sake of have, having a baby. And that yeah, shit is really wild to me. You say what? <sighs> that topic of, you know, great discussion. But that's <laughs> how you should just think about oh, before, yeah. You, yeah, before yeah. you have a baby. Don't just have a baby because you're pregnant. Like, yeah. And don't just get pregnant. Like, why are you getting pregnant by strangers? But even if you are, there are solutions for that. But... Whatever you sign up for, just know that you signed up for it yeah. and you can't complain about it. Like, I think that there is this culture of, well, not, let me not even say a culture because it's always been like this. Women have babies off the strength that they think that that's going to keep a dude. Yeah. Or they do it based right. off right. of a meal ticket. Like, oh, okay, like, you're set, you're you're very successful. Even if we don't work out, I don't want really to care as long <laughs> as I'm getting getting a check every month. So, yeah. like, that's, that's really what they're doing it for. But it's like, you're not just having a kid. Like, you have to... This is a human being you have to so raise up society. to be like a yeah. decent human being. And people don't do that. And people yeah. don't do that. It's so wild. So this brings me to another conversation. Um, what is the late night conversations or some podcasts? I want to say the name because they, they are pretty popular. And I don't want to act like Why do I feel like? I'm pressured to finish the bottle. Because oh we are finishing God. the bottle before. Not we that that. you were complaining that we were trying to get you drunk and now you came in here and was like, let's hey, finish the bottle. I'm on oh, whatever you are. <laughs> you I'm never going to be no hoe. I do too. Yeah. yeah. This is why I want to take y'all to all inclusive because. <laughs> uh, Mexico, baby, it's a. Don't I'm throw up. Y'all want to finish it? Because I'm going to throw up. No, I think you're going to. Well, you're going to throw up, but you're also going to be able to take care of yourself. We're going to get you food. Them. They have food at the resort. Yeah. They're not just alcohol. See, okay. I'd be like, bring us some, um, what you need, bread, chips and salsa? What bread. You need? I got Rose. you. Girl, yeah. I got you. Hard oh, rolls. Cereals. <laughs> and she speaks. <laughs> yeah. So, it's over with. Yeah, so I'm down. So, All inclusive and messy. Whatever happens, happens. Anyway, okay, the, the conversation was, I think he said, Women are better equipped or would much rather be moms versus wives, or they're just better at it. it was, either way, he was just saying, like, nurturing versus catering. <coughs> oh, you think that being a wife is catering versus nurturing? Because I think so, that there's some nurturing in, in Here's the too. thing being a wife, that can change tomorrow. I don't have to be your wife forever. Mm. I gotta be a mom as yeah. long as I'm here or as long as this baby's here I'm yeah. gonna be a mom and there's like you can't I've never had a role where I can't get out of mm. a job I can get out of yeah. a school yeah. I can get out of yeah. a relationship I can get out of I can yeah. get out of anything yeah. but being a mom so it's not that I am better or I want to or I mm. prescribe to be a mom I yeah. have to Yeah. once you're a mom if you're a real mom you know that that is your role like uh, no matter what, you're a mom. So it's not that I am better or I'd rather do this. Yeah. I have to do this. Yeah. But there are some people who look at marriage in the same way. Like, like they look at it as uh, like a spiritual contract of like, okay, like we did As it should be. You see the TikTok I posted and I had you in it. So I'm, I'm going viral on TikTok. This is my thing. I'm a TikTok She's star. Kind of Are you? Did you not see the TikTok? You're not, 
tagged in. You're not tagged in. That's why you're not. You didn't see it. No. You are famous. Okay. Follow me on TikTok. It's big dot mo twenty seven. I think because my birthday is February seven. Shout out to all the Aquarius. I love y'all. So big dot mo twenty seven um, on TikTok. I have the most followers I have on any other platform. It's like forty five hundred for now. Forty five million next week. Hey. Yeah, yeah, I appreciate y'all. But I have a like I have just videos on my phone. So I have a yeah. video of us at the cigar lounge. You don't recall. Okay. Okay. I, remember I have a video lounge. of the okay. cigar at the cigar lounge, and yeah. I just put like a caption with it because I needed content. I'm yeah. just posting every day. Okay. My thing is I gotta post every day, so I'm like, oh, I post it. I'll show you. But um, I posted it, and Chantel, which is Janine's younger sister, yeah. she saw it. And what did Chantel say when she saw she it? She said the screenshot. She was like, um, shade, and I was like, no. I think that she assumes it would be Shay because you're like the OG triple OG best friend, but then like me and Mo have like really like gotten closer over the last Yeah, year. we're related. Right. You well, know. <laughs> but yeah, and so I think she like assumes that there's this like battle for whatever, but there's enough love to go around. There's, it's not even Shay. Yeah, I think she was basically saying like you all were wasting your time talking to Ariel. That's what her sister oh. saw. But I just needed a caption in a video. Oh. And it got like I 400 views. Oh, so okay. yeah, I just needed a video. So yeah, her sister took it as shade. Why did you bring that up? I don't know. Because you're messy. No, I was, no, I was just talking because I didn't want that. I said, Carisha, please. Because she's too messy. <laughs> okay, so yeah, we need to learn boundaries. We should not be talking about, well, I don't know. We should, you should be allowed to talk about whatever you want to on your platform. So I recant what I was going to say. But basically, it's interesting. She's a podcast how, police. Mm -hmm. And she don't want Carisha to tell people she got pissed on. No, she can do whatever she wants to on her podcast. So why did you bring it up? Why did you say you should, what, what should she I don't know if I would be like, um, I let niggas piss on me. So you, because you're, she's not conservative like you. And we know and, she's not and, conservative. And I can, yeah, I guess so. And you're judging. Mm -hmm. Mm. You said you shouldn't talk about it because you don't talk about it. Everybody does a little something, something behind closed doors that they don't necessarily you know, talk about out front. I think everybody has a chapter that they don't read out loud. Yeah. I guess my question is like, at what Not point do we be like, okay, everything is content, but everything isn't content? Like, at, at what point do you like, we don't stop. Content? All publicity is good publicity. <laughs> they <laughs> don't stop. We don't stop everything. We don't stop. <laughs> so you never got peed on. Nah. No. No. Alright. Oh, so, yeah. Okay. Is it as, as it, is it enjoyable? Is it planned? I don't, I wouldn't let a man pee on me. It's, uh, I, it has, it. the only, the she only reason why I would think. Or she's like literally like, piss on me, go to the shower. In the shower. Does that count? She why would? In the shower? But it wasn't uh, sexual, but y'all just in the shower peeing. Because, like, everybody pees in the it's shower. It's a warm, I think it's the warm sensation. That's the only reason why I think people would do it. Because if it happened on accident, like, she was peeing and it got on your foot, that's, that's, that's. Um, <laughs> but if it was a situation where she, like, squat on you and pee. Purposely. Purposely for some kind of sexual Is problem. that different? Yes. Yes, bitch. Absolutely. Like, oh, you peed on me by accident, bitch. It's cool. Be in the shower. Okay. It's but squir it's squirting pee. They say it is. I don't know. I mean, I feel like that's 50-50. <laughs> and even if it is, it was fun. You know what I mean? <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> we hear that. may or may not be pee, but either uh, way, yeah. yeah. So, it's fine. She's still an answer. That's fine. I'm not. She's, she's I'm not again. Uh, what's shout out to Carisha. She's an Aquarius. You mm -hmm. you love Aquarius. I feel like you you will justify anything an Aquarius does. Just, <laughs> just <'cause> <laughs> everybody get Aquarius. Oh, it's just because of Aquarius is like creative. That's just like her first way. <laughs> she's gonna find a way to justify anything oh, an Aquarius does. Oh my god. Are you not the same? I'm not because I just find everything I do. I can't. I don't. You I don't speak for Aries. I don't. You, don't. you are an Aries. You yeah. are very much an Aries in every way, but well, you don't. How? Because you are competitive. Am I? Yeah. You want to compete. You want to lead. You want to be the superior dominant force. Every Aries at Aries. What? <laughs> every Aries I know wants to be like 
the person of power. That person, yeah. They are that person. They are the leader. They are the provider. They are the everything. They are the alpha and the omega. So you embody what an Aries is, but you do not be like, you don't die on a hill for Aries. Mm -hmm. I'll die on a hill about game. Like, I'm selfish and you're not. That's what you're saying. That's beautiful. It's beautiful. Mm. See, you have but it's very this type of female because when I first met you, you were very. Oh, I just love everybody. The world. Is I so still love everybody. No, we don't. And I love it. You have more. You boundaries. don't think she loves everybody? No, I don't think she's at. When I first met, she was. <laughs> I don't. For lack of a better word, naive in a sense. So, yeah, no, I think that's fair. <laughs> that's fair. So now to see how she's grown and shaped, it is better. It's uh, more cheers to female. like you know, our growth. Yeah, growth. Cheers to growth. <laughs> Y'all always stay hydrated. I will say. I'm not as drunk as I feel like we should be off of six shots. Yeah, we right. We did a lot. You know, you ate today? Yeah. Mm. What'd you eat? You. Oh, I stayed for Waffle House. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for Waffle House for so long. What'd you eat? Girl, oh, two egg breakfast. <laughs> I want a waffle and some hash browns. Bro, I had waffles on the grill one time. Have y'all signed up for the waffles regular club? No. They say waffles and free bacon for like three weeks. And you can reprint that shit. No time. No time. Okay. Look at Art. Look. Okay. This is Art. I'm bougie, but I be on the budget. Bougie. The Waffle House Regulars Club. And you get? You get, they send out either free waffles, free bacon, or free coffee or something like that. Y'all know um, y'all need that. Don't and you, spend your And it, it'll say at the bottom, like, you know, expires this date. So if once they send it, I copy it and put it onto a Word document and just print it out and just slide it. Tell me about that. Right. Very much. Right. 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 My New York niece, I brought her down here. Where we go, Waffle House. Auntie, when can I go to Waffle House again? Mm, I'm working on it, baby. I'm working on it. I got <laughs> so you. I didn't know like daytime Waffle House was a thing. Yeah. Everybody like, says that to me all the time. I thought time. Waffle House was only it's, daytime. It's like jumping in the morning. In the morning, there's a wait. Yes, there is. <laughs> that is crazy. Especially on Sundays. And it'd be like non people of color. They love Waffle House yeah. in the morning. Like, you're definitely going to wait. They don't answer their phone. Nope. There's no to go orders. Okay. You got to go in there and wait on it. Facts. Yeah. But we're going to wait on Waffle House. Exactly. We all are going to. There are seven like, seats and we're going to wait on them. I've, I've always been Waffle House over IHOP, but I have I have the other day. I was like, we don't have to go to Waffle House. No, you sick. Like, no, that's processed food. We're, we're not, you know. Are you, are we're you not saying, you, you would never know I have. I don't know. Their I'm burgers, their burgers no. are busted. I had a pancake. Now, I had a burger at Waffle House? Nah. Um, I have. Look. Waffle House burgers. Yeah. Waffle House do you get a Texas uh, melt from where? Waffle House? Texas cheesesteak melt from Waffle No, house. I do an all star or I'll do a bacon, egg, and cheese. Mm, okay. No, no, no. Chicken, bacon, cheese. Do a Texas cheesesteak with grilled onion. Do a burger. Toasted. Mm -hmm. burger do a burger. sausage uh, biscuit. I remember when the burgers were a dollar. Ooh, that was Do everything time. at Waffle House. You, Waffle House don't miss. Mm -hmm. Have you ate the chili? Ew, no. Oh, y'all sleep. I'm only getting chili that my mom makes. I put the chili on my hash browns. My mom eats, eats it. She does it all the way, so it's all every night. I do that. I do scattered, smothered, covered, peppered, which is oh, onions, God. cheese, jalapenos. Scattered, mm. smothered, covered, chunks on all the Damn. Yes. Yeah. What a carnivore. <laughs> yes. ah. How do you get your hash browns? Got a smile, um, that's that's all I learned. And <laughs> bruh, have you ever had a a vanilla sprite? Yes. I yeah. got a vanilla sprite because of Ariel. Okay. Have level. you had a vanilla sprite with a little bit of cherry? Shut your face. Some people have said that. I'm like, I don't want cherry. Do it. 
the waitress put me on, do it. Yo, I went to Waffle House one time and I saw them pour Sprite from a bottle versus the okay. fountain. I was like, I'm out. No, I I'm love. not. I left. No. Waffle House is so ratchet. I I step There's up. nothing you're gonna like not it's take from like, Waffle House. Y'all, I'm gonna take your attitude. Yo. I'm gonna take the price. <laughs> I'm gonna take whatever you give and me at if, Waffle House. If you're not from Atlanta and, and you are familiar with Waffle House, your price will be different every single time. Yeah, it is. It's I never consistent. Just have that, I just have the experience. Your price is different. You need to be like, like, whoa, this is $40 or yeah. whoa, this is $12. Right. Yeah. It depends on how much you're And you have to accept it. You're not yeah. supposed to argue with the Waffle you House. Got you got it. I've never I've argued. Videos. Whatever you give me is right. what I'm taking. I'm eating this and I'm taking the price. Because yeah. it's like, it's, it, it's never aggressively over. It's more yeah. like you're shocked if it's aggressively under. Yeah. But they aren't going to overcharge you. But it's always within a certain radius, but it's like, it's different every Whatever time. Whatever you want to give me. I'm not like, <laughs> it it the 20, 30, 40. <laughs> My highest tab was like $40 at Waffle House. Never been mm-hmm. $40 at Waffle House. It was like four of us. Oh, uh, two women. So I just took bad. it. Oh, that's nice of you to pay for everybody. I, hey, I'm that nigga. You are. So, I'm not, I'm not. Big mom. Not the little one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, are you going to do rapid fire? All right, pull up the question. Oh, oh. Okay. I'm good. It's fine. I'm mad we got this orange juice that we didn't drink. Can you bring it into the frame? Oh, well, I was going to say that, y'all, when I was in Guatemala, I saw La Casa de Waffle. Like, literally the yellow. House of Waffle. Yes. Okay. The so Waffle House. But so I had the yellow and the black. And it, it had, yo, I had to Google it because we passed the vibe. <laughs> No, but I, cause it was in the I was in the Uber and it was just on the ride like to where I was. You going. didn't eat Casa de la Waffle. But when I googled it, it's nothing like Waffle House. It just has that outside care. that looks like. It. I don't care. So, I'm going. Yeah, what is in so so tacos? Yeah, it was. It was. No, did you have a pupusa? Ooh, tell us what that means. Pupusa is just basically like um She's corn Spanish. cornmeal on a good day. <laughs> um, it's just basically like a cornmeal patty that yeah. is filled with like different things. It could be like cheese only, it could be meat oh, and cheese. No, no, no. Can you no. put it in the cookbook? Yeah. Well, I won't do a pupusa because that's not my culture, but I'll do an of and it's amazing. Um, what? what is the Spanish mommy? This is our bodica. How do no. you say Boricua is Puerto Rican specific. Yeah, that was that's me. Okay. It's more <laughs> what are you? Morena, maybe. Because that's just like a brown skinned Spanish person. Mm. You're not a brown skinned Spanish. Am I not brown skinned? No. You're a brown skinned, but you're not brown skinned Spanish. But if you were trying, I'm, I'm more of <laughs> that than nope. I am of Boricua. Your Spanish is Caucasian. Nah, she's not that light. She's, what? Did you just see the favorite picture? <laughs> <laughs> Like, no, they are like, like, like they are the mob. <laughs> no, yeah. what a money no when I mentioned it and I met her parents, I was like, this is your mom and this is your dad? They're, they're they're mom and dad match. match. Kinda, yeah, they do. They match. I mean, mm-hmm. when I got older, yeah. But when <laughs> you first meet her, no. and then you see the product is Janine. <laughs> her mom. Janine was a so, like nice, like super sweet. Her it mom is like, her, and her dad her is mom is <laughs> and it's not. It's not what I thought it would be Janine. Like, <laughs> she doesn't fit their child. I feel like their child is Chantel. Okay. You yes. think so? Chantel is more of their child. Like she's the a combination. Of them. Yeah. yeah. Okay. But they're both like your dad's different. Your mom is Spanish. Your mom is Spanish. <laughs> That's what I'm like. Just to meet them and then see how I'm like, huh. Yeah. That was, that was a different. Okay. Okay. They okay. kept going till they got it right. Shout out to Chantel. <laughs> She's the Aquarius, she's the got it right child. I understand it. Oh, okay. Okay. No, no, no. I was like, why would she even say that? No. Yeah. <laughs> it makes sense. Because my best friend is the best. Like, yeah. <laughs> but they kept going to the got it right. That's hilarious. Shout out to the Aquarius. But yeah. I thought that all of us were mistakes as well. <laughs> I thought all of us, like, not, not, not mistakes, but like, we're either playing or friends. I'm eight years older than my sister. You don't know she was playing? Um, like, yeah, yeah. I, my parents is fucking. Yeah, yeah. Fucking. I, 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 I thank the Lord. I was upset when CJ came home. I was upset when my brother came home. 
And I think God my dad got sick. Five. That, why were you upset? Because I love to be the spotlight. I love you remember be the being the only child at five? Yeah. yeah I literally was upset. Like, How long were you the me, only child? Me and Charles are two years apart. So you were so never the only child. Yeah. My yeah. first memory is Charles was there. Mm-hmm. So it was always just me and Charles. Absolutely not. I used to pull CJ out the crib. I used to pull him down the stairs. I used to... I do remember him. harming Charles on purpose. All the time. That. I used to do it all the time. Y'all were... We were yeah, taking I a did bath not care. together. They man. did that to me. I was the baby. Oh, you got mm-hmm. So they did it. I know my brother did it to me. My brother beat my ass, though. My brother taught me how to fight. Like, mm-hmm. he taught me how to take pain. Like, yeah. after my brother, like, I was ready for whatever. We can do whatever. <laughs> like, yeah, I'm, I'm wrestling with men. I'm wrestling. Uh, yeah, moving furniture. It's fine. Me and my brother been doing this. Uh, <laughs> but I knew I was a picked on child. Mm-hmm. But I think that, like, it starts in the moment, but I also think that it shapes you to be able to handle the outside world a little bit yeah. better. Yeah, absolutely. I was thinking about that earlier, like, it's certain insecurities that I had. I would get picked on by it by my father. Absolutely. And was my big he head. said it was worse than what anybody yeah, else said. Like, what y'all talking yeah, about? I had a big head as a child, and I have a big head now. You can see my forehead. But I cried. <laughs> like, they broke me down. Like, you got a big head, big head. Yeah. And they never said anybody else had a big head. Okay. So you were the big So head. I was like, what's wrong? And my mom was like, this is because you got a big brain and you're smarter than them. Oh, and I yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. yeah. I graduated. My mom's always making it better. I graduated. I got only graduate. I only graduated. I only graduated. Yeah. 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 But I have a big brain, so yeah, I didn't take it like yeah. I took it at like three, four, five, and yeah, I yeah. embraced it. So yeah. nobody at school could make fun of me. That's exactly. basically what it is. Exactly. There was no bullying. Like household thing. I want. I love it. Like, I, love it. I really did the same thing. Like being bullied, I probably was only. I think like eighth grade, I was only bullied, but like it wasn't even. She didn't do nothing to me, but it was for? more like I think it was more of a mental thing. Like, cause, because she was bigger and I was a little small and, you know, I didn't want to take her on and stuff like that. But, um, just moving forward. Look at these hands. I'm about to say, yes, but no, but look how yeah. thin this, yeah. like, I'm very fragile, yeah. you know? Yeah. You I've never, suck. I've never broke a bone. I've never, I can barely make a fist because I'm not a bear. bear. How you had broke the toe? I fell going up so much that she fell coming down so much, and they had to come like get us. I tripped and I broke the baby toe, but I couldn't walk because I was. What the fuck? (laughs) They had to send the team up. Okay, no, no, no. You tripped and broke your baby. I thought you were talking about big toe, but you said I broke a baby toe. And there's nothing you can do about a toe. When it breaks, you gotta just let it heal. There's no cast. There's no nothing. You just got a broken toe. It's so crazy how much your toes are your balance. Yeah, Yeah. your toes grip the earth. So thank God we have our functionality. We yeah. have our toes. We have our yeah. mobility. Yeah. Yeah. Thank Amen. God. Thank God. Amen. Thank God for our toes. Thank God for our ability of life and all and that. And feetfinder.com. Hey, that's so next. So I broke my toe and they had to come up Stone Mountain in a rescue van. And get wow. me. It was the SUV. Sirens and everything. It was cool. Yeah. It was nice. <laughs> Our How far up? My parents, you had to like have like. No, I went all the way up and I was coming down. Was that like after, you know how there's like. Why did they let us go by there? ourselves? So my mom and dad, my dad was in town because my mom and dad were in the middle of their divorce. They never had, but my parents are still married. They're not oh, together. Still married. Oh. Yeah. So shout out to black people for not paying for the divorce. So my parents are still married and they're not together, haven't been together, but they were in the midst of working yeah. things out. So my dad was in town. We went to Stone Mountain. Janine mm-hmm. came with us to Stone Mountain. They were about to take their old asses <laughs> up the mountain. So me and Janine were like 13, 14-ish. Mm-hmm. We yeah. went up the mountain, made it to the top. We were coming down. Yeah. I tripped. My big ass broke my toe and I was stuck. Um, and they had to call the rescue ambulance and take me away. And there's nothing you can do. And Mo was a privileged uh, child in middle school. She had it on cell phones. That's how she called. Mom, I'm sorry, I wasn't privileged. My mom had one child. I, I don't know. That's privileged. I'm not saying it's a bad thing. On the mountain? Yeah. 13. I had a phone when I was nine. Okay, money. <laughs> You don't want to show the shit on this. No, because no, I thought no, because when you said that, I was like, I thought she was. You no, you was telling the stars. I thought she was like, yeah, I'm like, okay, a baby. Yeah, sorry, we did not come from.
from that. I'm from Chicago. I'm from. I, I don't know money. I, I don't know privilege. Oh my god. So I got a cell phone in middle school. Okay. So yeah, and it was a prepaid. Minutes. We don't even talk about my Ooh. school situation. So yeah, I grew up in the struggle yeah. trenches. Yeah. Trench baby. First world problems. Right. So right. um I made it down the mountain finally after the rescue team came, whatever, it's fine. What was the why did we get to Stone Mountain? How did we get there? Who cares? Talk about you and your toe, that's all I remember. Oh, because I said I was oh, oh, bully. Skinny bully. It was yeah, a bully. Okay. There, you go. there you go. So you got bullied because you were skinny. Yeah. And what had what came of that? She's like, no. Have y'all ever been in fights? No. no. <laughs> Is that y'all never privilege? fought? No. no. I've had people not like me, but nobody yes. has ever like That's physically. Me. I would never swing That's on somebody. Me. You have to swing on me for me to engage. I want to. Do y'all ever? I've never been that Do y'all ever think if you like can beat somebody else? Yes. I play because it. I would. I feel like yeah. I would not play fair. And that's the people you don't play. Like. Exactly. The people don't that I like, me. Finally, my time <laughs> is here. I gotta I'm alone, you. okay? Like, that what? is the shit I've been suppressing. It's coming out <laughs> on your ass. That part. Yeah, so please, please, that please part. handle me with care. I'm scared of those. I haven't yes. fought in a while, but I think I still got it. I think I'm manifesting. I just like, I don't like put their hand, oh, like just like swing or like approach me in that manner. I've yeah. had people say they don't like me. Okay. Okay. What? I just what? like no one, what? anyone that I've actually gave a fuck about, like if we fell out for whatever reason, it was never enough to like let's fight. Let's fight. Like, wow. Ever. Like. So, do you know the story as her best friend? Do you know the story about a fight that I fought because of her? My no. friends love me. You fought because of her? What so, <laughs> remember how you said she was naive? <laughs> so, <laughs> I felt like somebody was trying her. Oh, okay. So, I stepped in and I was like, yeah, don't let nobody play with you like that. And the person that was playing with her was like, I was like, I'll do you like that. And she's from like Detroit. Chicago oh, versus Detroit. Detroit. Yeah, it was a whole lot of Midwest. So, yeah. she's like, I'll do that to you. And I was like, no, you won't. And she did it. And so, <laughs> Yeah, she like hit me and I smashed. She threw a bottle or something first, right? And then they fought once we got off the bus and one of her Before the bus was on the floor. I slapped her because she was like, I was like, don't do that to her. She's like, I'll do it to you. And she did it to me. She like hit me in the head with a bottle mm-hmm. and I smacked her and her glasses went flying. And she was like, I'm going to show you something. Yo, and she was like, she used to walk around. She was real brawling. Like, yeah, she used to walk around like this. Um, and this is like one night, by the way. <laughs> and then she was like, I'm going to show you something when we get off this bus. And I was like, okay. Mm. So we got off the bus and we had to fight. And I got in a whole fight because of Janine. Oh, wow. wow. Really? Because I'm like, I don't realize when people are, no, no, I know when people try me, let me not say that. Okay. But it could have been a situation where I just like let it go and the shit just like died down and like nobody would have fought. But I appreciate you caring enough about yeah. me to be like, oh no, fuck that. Like, it I ain't never too far. <laughs> I it ain't never too far. Right here. I'm one of them, yeah, don't play with my people because mm-hmm. I feel like you're playing with me. Yeah, that's fair. Because if you try my people in front of me, you think I'm a hoe and you think I'm going to be with the shit. And no. And here's the funny part. I feel like both of you have shown that 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 your rider dies inside of different ways. Yours included physical altercations. <laughs> Every time. And I fuck with you said and I love you. Every that. time. We Me and Eric's situation never included fighting, but it's like we're always the last two standing at yeah. the end. Like it's been situations where there's like a group of us. I'm not we, we all know what is going on. We all plan this. And somehow y'all got scared inside of the middle of shit. And at the end of the night, it's just us like riding back home. Like, all right, so what are we going to do? You know what I'm saying? And this happened multiple times. And y'all said, what we going to do? And I did it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to take it too far every time. Y'all going to get me to the side later when we get home. Like, bitch, you didn't have to do all that. But I did. Oh, well. One of us had to. Because they're not going to play with us no more. So, yeah, I'm that friend. That's that, security. Yeah, I'm that friend that's going to take it there, and that is so upsetting. Do you still feel like you're you're that friend now? No, right? I'll still be that friend. Oh, that's what she looks like. She looks like she will fucking fuck some bitch up for you. Like, ah, so I look like I want to fight. Yes. I feel like at this point, I'm like, I don't think you look like 
like you want to fight. I look like you would take the fight. Yeah. Like I'm, well, I'm okay with how it's yeah, turn out. Yeah, you coming out this way. Yeah. But I'm not. I'm not too good with words. I am good with words. I'm very good with words. But my words not are gonna make you want to fight you. <laughs> so once I say what I gotta say, you yeah. have to hit me or you yeah. have to leave. So. Yeah. But I'm okay with either one. <laughs> we're we're okay to do either one. You what is the situation? Uh, you, you are what's 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 weird about this is like I'm super close to both of them and y'all are different but y'all like have fundamentally the same type of situation. It's a February. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that that has to be what it is. What is the situation you felt like by the grace of God you you got out of? Oh. So there was one time where I was drunk and my friend was drunk. And we were past. She was my passenger. Unfortunately, I was driving. Unfortunately, and right. I was underage. So many back. I had an open container in my back seat. <gasps> my tag was expired, and I made a illegal U turn. Whoa! And I got pulled over. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I'm pulled over, underage. With the bottle in the back, my windows, I'm, I'm fishbowl at the time. This is why I'm no longer oh, driving okay. fishbowl. What's because fishbowl? Fishbowl is where you don't have tint. No tents. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> your car is not tinted at all. Yeah. My car is like good. Every car I've had, the last three yeah, cars I've yeah, had yeah. tinted. Like, <laughs> illegal tint. I'm not playing these games. But that car was fishbowl. And I had the container in the back seat open. I had my friend passed out, drunk next to me. You're underage. I'm driving underage, under the influence, yeah. and I'm doing illegal shit. And I get pulled over, and thank God for that officer, because he pulled me over, and he was like, do better. Yeah. Make better decisions. And I was like, he didn't give me not one ticket. No. I had an expired tag. I was under age. I was DUI, and I didn't. I got away with that. How far away from the house were you? I was on uh, Peachtree Industrial. I had just got off of 285. And you needed to go on like Peachtree Corners. I was like, okay, getting off 285, like Shambly yeah. area. So I was getting off. So of like there. 15, 10, 10 15 I was maybe 15 minutes away yeah. from home. I think the closer you are to home helps. The, In not some only. That's yeah. the okay. So the. The statistic is you are more likely to get yeah, in an accident it. within 10 minutes of your house. Oh. Yeah, I heard that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, but I got home and it was fine. That's I've had a lot of nights where it could have went left. <sighs> Nigga, let, let's talk about Okay, so all, all of my close kind of situations dealt with marijuana. All situations. First situation was with Ariel. We were on our way home. We were on the way. <laughs> you don't talk about any. You knew how she was ready for it. <laughs> so we we were on our way back yeah, to Southern from like winter break yeah. or something. Uh, yeah. Um, okay. My homegirl Ty, shout out to Ty. Ty, Ty was in the front seat ro- rolling up like we had yeah, just caught. We, we had just caught. So <laughs> so she's in the front seat rolling up for our trip back back to Southern. Okay. So we get pulled over. No okay. no no no. So let let me set the scene. Okay, set, set scene. because I have a Jeep, uh-huh. a SUV girl for life. Um. Yeah. So it was three girls, and we packed up all our shit from our homes to come back to our dorms. Oh, so so this is freshman year. We were. Of college. Uh, I wasn't. I wasn't even eighteen yet because I turned eighteen in February. Yeah. Okay. So this is like a transitional. Yeah. Um. But I was only one drove. <laughs> Car. Uh, yeah. Amen. Um. But oh, so okay. all of our stuff was packed. <laughs> Remember we had the same one this issue. Ben Lynn, What yeah. is trenches? <laughs> So we were packed up like me, it was me literally and Ty, like, like, and Janine is literally like here, and all and all three of our stuff are in the back of the car. Yeah. Okay. So it was like it was packed, so hot, yeah. and it was just like okay, we gonna get to and, and like, I get her back at night. No, 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 it was like midday, three, four. It was on Jimmy Carter though. Mm-hmm. Jimmy Carter going on to eighty five. I've had accidents right in front of Best Friend Park on Jimmy See? Carter. But Jimmy okay, Carter is that thing. So that's yeah. the scene. So yeah. um, we get pulled over, and of course we were already smoking in the car. What we got pulled over for? A tail light. A tail light. This raggedy Of course, Jeep. but no, yeah, but, see, but that's the shit. But you ain't got but no tail light. That's that shit with the cops, bro. If you gonna pull me over for a tail light, like you can't really 
how am I at fault? How the yeah. fuck am I yeah. supposed to like something? But like I learned with my moving violation, not getting over when the all right, y'all, we experienced some technical difficulties, so no official ending, but we appreciate y'all watching. Make sure to follow us on all platforms, subscribe, comment, hit us up.